97% of our DNA was long considered as junk DNA with no special function. But in fact, parts of junk DNA contain overlooked treasures in understanding how our genome functions. They function as genetic switches that turn on and off genes. Wouter de Laat and his group study this part of our genome and how its shape influences its function. If you stretch all the DNA that is present in every tiny cell nucleus, it measures two meters. To better appreciate these impossible dimensions, if you add up all the DNA that you have in your head, it builds a wire that measures 10,000 times the distance from the Earth to the Moon. So clearly, folding must be amazingly complex. And the fascinating aspect is that there is a lot of function in the structure. Understanding this relationship between structure and, fun and function is what drives our research. Our fascination for genome structure stems back from the realization that only 3% of the genome is a gene or a coding part. The remainder 97% of the genome was long considered to be junk DNA, but we now know it's full of genetic treasures, molecular switches that can turn on and off genes. To understand how they control the expression of genes far away, we pioneer the use of new methods called 3C technologies. We have shown that these regulatory DNA sequences act on these genes via looping of DNA. To understand how all the genes are wired to all the regulatory DNA sequences, we believe detailed genome-wide contact maps need to be created. One thing we, we often look at is contact maps. So we want to know for a given gene and which contacts it makes to other parts of the genome. So as you can see here in this plot, for a given gene, we have indicated all the parts in the genome where it makes contacts. And then we want to find out what is special about these contacts and what is the biological meaning of it. One of our current exciting ideas is that every cell has a unique shaped genome and that because of cell-specific DNA contacts, gene expression can be very different in individual cells among otherwise completely identical cells. We find this novel concept, where the 3D genome structure may be important for cellular decision making, very interesting. It may be relevant for, for development and for the adaptation to environmental changes. We realized that our techniques can not only be used for fundamental research, but also be uh, applied to find genetic uh, mutations or, or even changes in our genome uh, that can cause disease. So what we identified is uh, a novel oncogenes in leukemia, uh, and we are now exploring uh, the applications of, of our technologies to apply them in medical di diagnostics. As a very fundamental research group, it's highly exciting that we're developing new technologies that may improve DNA diagnostics and therefore have a positive impact on human health care. To actively pursue this, we have uh, recently started a spin-off company, Sergentis, for kits and services in DNA diagnostics. In our fundamental research, we will continue to do original research and develop new technology to understand the genome function in single cells in development and in disease.